Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. You think he's a keeper? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround? That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? That's a new one. Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. That's a new one. A lot of death people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Mako Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. I don't remember it looking quite like this. Or maybe I do, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Either way, we it's kind of need cool. no reactors. We don't, brother. You preach. Preach on. The highway collapsed right in front of me. Spooky. Just wanted to feel the Secretary, that's no Man, everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. Why would I, I um, do something like that? If you're about to unburden yourself, down don't. Yeesh. You hmm. don't make it easy. Hey. Oh, never mind. Sorry to disturb you. Come around here. Let me make sure I talk to everyone. Be me cleaning up the office. Wait, what the? Oh, that's weird. Hey, out of sack. You're uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector Eight. I'm a soldier. You see, my daughter well, now lives in Sector Eight. My hands are so... still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to, or maybe not. <laughs> Just leave me alone, all right? Mr. Shinra catch the bad men yet? Aww. I can't wait to set foot on the surface. Little help, Cloud? Please? What's going on? I can't stop thinking about it. The yeah. bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. <laughs> Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. I doubt this will be the last attack. You're a great talker. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking <gasps> out your ass. <sighs> Everyone yeah. knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? 
A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, They're oh, judging him. Nice. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. Oh, come on. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. You're preaching again. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? <laughs> Y'all's masters? <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. <laughs> that is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> kind of being a bully, it's bird. Fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> no more context to what happened in you know from the original and he just said just punching a wall and sitting yes. down Man, i like this that this train is slower than molasses am i right it's sleepies all right what's wrong you with hear you? that suit shouldn't recreate my ass we're the good guys damn it you hear that suit shouldn't recreate my ass are we really though are we really the good guys in this situation. It's hard to, it's hard to think that we are, even though we were made to look like the bad guys to an extent. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not <laughs> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. <laughs> so, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Huh. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <sighs> Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What I tell you, have a little faith. This time. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> That's what's always worked for me. Hmm. Well, that's all well and good. If you only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. He's got a point, Cloud. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. Step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? 
people are listening. You're the dumbass that went out and started this. Hmm. Now get some R&R. &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> See you soon. Uh. At Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works? Mm -hmm. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. She'll kick your ass. Soft drinks, what's that say? It just says Maz. What's this one? Hmm. Little like eatery places. It's kind of funny. Okay. It feels like a town because of all the talking and I like this. I've never felt the ground shake like that. What kind of person bombs a reactor? Some Pleiades only had it so good because of the reactors. And this bombing's uh, I've never seen anything like it before. It was Pleiades. I like that. It was like a giant candle lighting up the whole sky. All that debris piled up like mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Mm, Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Come on here. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> what the? You okay, buddy? I'm tripping balls, dude. Mako junkie, huh? Figures. Really? You again. I'm not sure that I like that they added that, or I don't like it. I'm, I'm not, I'm, hmm. Time will tell. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's really Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. You don't want to mess with the monsters in here. Move along now. Is that? And just where do you think you're going? Huh? Hmm. Voice sounds very familiar. Public security should know who did it. So. So you'll interrupt them while they're working? Come on, it's one little question. Of course. Um, excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? No, sir. You guys are being dicks. Well, you're being a dick. He was actually being cool. In accordance with emergency regulations, entry into this area is prohibited. Please, leave at once. Still too nice. Still too nice. Oh, here we 
go. Sector 7 slums. It's like revisiting an old town when I was a kid that I grew up in. But it's in higher definition. Ah, oh. oh, you made some interesting noises. What the? That's where I work. No freaking way. Put that fire out, idiots. I was there yesterday. Hmm. As yet, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack, but security services are working tirelessly to identify those involved. If you have any information pertaining to the identity of the perpetrators, please contact your nearest public security officer or security headquarters. Okay. What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop so I can look after my parents, you know? <laughs> well, a man can always dream, can he? Oh, there's Seventh Heaven. Look at how beautiful that place is. Can I can I go look at other things instead of having to go straight there? Please. I drink with tea for so bad. Who would it? She's a looker. A bombshell even. They're drunk. And horny. I mean, Tifa does have the the tits of this game, oh. for sure. I don't think I've ever seen Seventh Heaven close that early. I know! All I wanted was to finish my show. How dare they kick us out? Oh, don't take it personally. You heard how much Tifa apologized? If Midgard loses power, aren't computers and traffic lights and all that going to shut down? That can't be good. The economic losses would be staggering. A couple hundred trillion gil or more. And that's <laughs> nothing compared to the lives already lost. At least most people were sleeping at the time, so they went peace. Think I should go back to my hometown? All right, Tifa. <gasps> Arlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I picked up a Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? <sighs> Aww. How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Always been a good dad. Talk to the munchkin. Uh. Hey! What uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? I was just trying he to be. He says never talk to strangers. <laughs> good kid. That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still <laughs> waiting on it. Boobs. Uh, right. Boobs. About that. We should talk outside. No, no. Are you gonna jip me? Um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Let that be a lesson to you. Why are you such a dick? I was just trying to say hi to your daughter. When you want to talk to a little kid? Don't go giving her the professional killer eyes. 
guess you're right. Hi. Okay, well. Wait, what? Question mark. Oh, it's music. Can I change the music? I can! Oh, that's so cool. Jukebox, play your favorite tunes. You add more songs to Jukebox by collecting music disc. Okay. Tifa's theme. That's the only one playing. Cool, that's... That's a, an interesting little uh, addition to the game. Alright, Tifa. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound yeah. good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. Oh, cool. I got a house now. How Thanks. was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong it was of me crazy. to put you in danger like that. I, heard about that I promise news. I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not good at all. Apparently he was fishing for info. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. <laughs> Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Look. Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. Got a house the news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So, the top it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. <laughs> At least he's not lying, you know? And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. It's cool that they, they're adding a little more like, you know, where you live, what you do. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. I guess I'm sleeping next to you. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? What'd you say? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. Mm -hmm. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Okay, well, let me just check this out, I guess. Oh, yeah, it's a little be. bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get There is it. one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. Oh. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. <laughs> Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Anything for Sleep that tight. ass, Tifa. Whew. <sighs> well, they definitely changed it up a bit here. I like. I, I'm like. I'm not hating the changes. Still on the fence about the Death Eaters, though, or whatever the fuck those things were. Guess it's time for introductions. The fuck is that sound? No, noisy, noisy neighbors. I'm digging this. Hey, you 
okay in there? Oh. He's just taking a massive shit. Coming shoot. in. That's all that's going on. Oh no. Ha ha! Problems having a large sword. I'm wondering where they're going to introduce these guys. What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. 49. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Marco's seen better days. Kind of wish I could have explored and found something like that, like before, you know? But I, I mean, that's cool. This doesn't mean that the exploration still isn't a thing. Oh, listen to that music. Let's check up on Marco. What are you doing? Why'd you do that? Come on. Don't shake your head at me, Cloud! It's gonna be the same thing. Okay, well, I guess we can't check on Tifa and. Go through her drawers and the dog. Oh. Well, now you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. <laughs> What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had, and if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? I like that old lady. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you, and then some. She got a chocobo tail for her fucking hair, though. Look at that. Come on, quit lollygagging and go to Seventh Heaven already. That's cool. I mean, instead of just going straight to the debrief you uh you you find a house there's a little more background that's kind of cool just saying they're gonna step up their game searching for candidates searching for what what's that on your shoulder huh. weapons don't, start moving again. don't try anything Ooh. funny or you'll get it the kids seem to think you're pretty cool Weapons? weapons? Even our facilities things. are weapons? starting to look a little run down. Can you please? Everybody does. We keep putting off maintenance. We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. Guess not. But I did After see that. A thousand, you'll be ready to hit up Jesse. <clears throat> oh, okay, this is the workout fellas or whatever. You got this. Don't tell me you're making that face because you think it looks cool, are you? No, I'm just naturally pissed off. We gotta do something about the monsters on Alright, where is Not alone somebody? you won't. Even our facilities are starting to look a little bit. I guess we don't need a I guess we don't need the, uh, uh, I believe there was a, like, that weapon shop in the game. 
had a little tutorial area in the first one. I guess we don't need that now. At least not like we did. We're doing our best. This is cool.